Good afternoon, folks. Grandpa Adler Farms. Hey, we're going to do an afternoon feeding, but I think I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm not going to wait until I feed the animals and then, uh, you know, go and do some chores. I want to do some things right now. It's about mid-afternoon. We'll feed the animals a little bit later on. You know, they're not hollering right now. They're, uh, <laughs> I see Batman over there. He's in the shelter and uh, P-Dub and Fox are outside and Smokey, she is which is what she does a lot during the day, see her? She's snoozing over there in that shelter. It's cold. It's been cold. It's gonna be cold for the next 10 days. So as an old retiree, I got a choice. I can come out here once in the morning, once in the afternoon, feed the animals, never do anything else extracurricular, get anything done. You know me, I don't like the cold, not as much as I used to, but you know, I'm not gonna sit in that house all day. I, I, I can't do it, I just cannot do it. So I thought, you know what, get up off your rear end, come out here, do something. And you're coming with me, so put your clothes on and let's go. We're not gonna sit around in our jammies all day, that ain't happening, no, we're not doing it. So we're gonna go over here and, and listen, what's, what's, my, what's one of my favorite things to do? You know me long enough now, if I had to, you had to pick something right now, what would it be that I would do? Da, 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 da. Well, if you didn't guess it, I'm going to burn something. I'm going to set something on fire. If nothing else, I'll set it on fire, warm my little hiney right by the fire as she's going. How's that? So that is what we're going to do. We're going to go burn some stuff. I probably won't cut anything, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Animals can hang out and watch and uh, we'll just make some trouble. Hey, really quick, before we go out there, uh, I want to get a couple of things knocked out that we talked about uh, that I made a big deal of, and that was the uh, warmers for the water. A lot of you commented about that, said, hey, check this, check that. Well, I do have a breaker in the box that controls just the garage receptacles, all right? But Chad, when they were doing the electrical, he met them out here, the electricians, and said, hey, look, I want you to put all the outlets on its, their own uh, breaker. And they said, sure. Well, I thought that's the one that was. Well, guess what? There is a, and I, I had seen it, but I didn't pay attention. See that right there? That is a ground fault indicator. So that is like a little bre mini breaker and it actually goes off quicker than the, the breaker in the box. So. When it detects just the slightest variation in current or whatever, I guess it trips. And I never gave it a thought. I came in, I took a, uh, a warming light, a heat warmer, heat lamp, yeah, and I put it in all the plugs and none of them worked. And I thought, darn, got around to that one and saw that little light was red. And I went, oh man, I felt like such a goober. So that was the problem right there. Uh, I pushed the button, all the water's warm. Yay, how about that? We're good on that. So yeah, y'all, uh, a lot of great advice. In fact, somebody said, hey, did you check your ground fault GFI? And I'll be darned, that's what that thing is. So, but you know, I'm not an electrician. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not a, I don't mess with it. I don't mess with it. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go burn something, burn something up, get warm, because I'm feeling a little chill right now. And uh, we'll go hang out with the goats. The birds are, they are not even coming out. I'll tell you what I need to do. I'm gonna go shut this door real quick. Let me show you something kind of funny though real quick here about these birds, if I can catch them, go around this way. When it's cold, they won't get in the chicken coop during the day. Watch this, if I can catch them in there. Look, every one of them, every bird is in that uh, shelter right there. There's, there's some on top. Some on the bottom, some over here to the right. But that's where they all hang out during the day. I put fresh straw in there last night. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's where they hang out. So that's all right with me. Look here. This is what the free rangers do during the day. Look. What are you doing in there? Look at them. Get in there and scratch around in that straw and get in that shelter. I've actually seen all the goats in there and Smokey, and they'll get right up against Smokey and lay there, I guess, for, for warmth or whatever. 
Oh man, boys, I'm sorry. I didn't get that scraped off. I tried earlier and it's hard as a rock now. I'd have to use a shovel. Hey, listen, we're not ready to eat yet. We're not eating yet. You guys can go hang with me, but we're gonna go. Let's go do a little bit of work, fellas. Now, hopefully, I got enough. I got a fresh container of diesel here. It might take a little bit because it's been a little bit wet. You know, we had that snow. But let's do this. See how it goes, huh? Look at here. Free rangers, Mogi, and the goats, all here thinking it's time to go eat something. Fellas, it ain't time to eat. We got three more hours, all right? By the way, somebody said Smokey was limping. All right, now listen, folks, she's not limping. She's walking up and down here like she's just some spring chicken. I don't know what y'all saw. She's not limping, you know? I checked her paws, she's not in pain. So I'm not real sure what the indicators are, but a lot of you thought she was limping and so forth, but I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing it. But right now I'm gonna start this up and I guarantee you they'll all clear out. But it's too early to eat, y'all know that, but I got quite the crew here, you know? Oh, uh, hey, dude, I gotta use that to start my, uh, I beg your pardon, Batman, that's paper, son. Hey, that's, no, come here with that. Batman, you, you drop that. Young man, golly, I tell you what. Can't take you. Listen, I appreciate the help, but don't don't eat my no, Fox. Hold on, hold on, son. Don't do that. I gotta use that. All right. Oh, would you look at this? That's pitiful. I can't get a fire started to save my life. I probably put two gallons of diesel on there, and I got nothing. So, from the snow and the just the dampness. That's all that's been burning. I mean, I could continue to pour diesel on there, but that'd just be a waste. I'm not gonna do that, too expensive. So we will not be burning today. So what we're gonna do, again, prior to feeding, we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna, I bought some uh, sodium bicarbonate, which by any other name is baking soda. I watched a video and I uh, read a couple of articles and one of you indicated that, hey, it might not be a bad idea to get the goats some baking soda because the goats, like us, if they have upset tummies, and remember, that's part of their digestive process. You know, they belch a lot, you know, the ruminants, how they digest their food. And some of you all already know all this, okay? But for those of you who don't, they can get an upset stomach. It also can lead to, partly to the bloating, which can be very, very bad for goats, fatal, in fact. Uh, now, bloating is caused more by what they eat most of the time, not by how much. Our goats don't eat weird stuff, so it probably won't be a problem, but just in case they eat too much or they need to help a little bit in digestion, because, you know, I've made jokes before how they burp and you around goats, and they, they burp and gurgle and... It's kind of part of it. So let's get a, uh, I bought this and I'm gonna hang this in here where they, see, I'm gonna put it about right there and then they can come in here. Let's see, I'll put it there and uh, they can come in here and get them some baking soda as they need. Now, is there a danger they'll overeat it? You know what? They self-medicate. They will take just as much as they need, which is a really cool thing. So I've got a little five pound bag and I will put this up there and then I'll pour that five pound bag in and uh, then they'll have that. So I'll feel better about that. I know a lot of people may not do this, but, uh, but I'm gonna do it. Hey, let grandpa get this in there for you. I know it. It's gonna be a, we'll call this the, uh, let's call it the gas station, okay? That's what we'll call it. This is our goat gas station. Get it? Ain't that funny? Oh, that was pretty funny. Now, it's uh, about an hour away from feeding time. Every animal that I've got thinks it's time to eat. And they always do that. And it's not time to eat yet. Just relax. Now, i got to get this high enough to where they don't uh, go to the bathroom in it, but yet uh, P-Dub and, and Fox can, can get to it. So... I think I'll, uh, let's just do it, let's just do it right there. 
I know, nobody likes the sound of the drill, but you should be used to it by now. It's okay. Put that in there. All right. Now we'll get our baking soda and put it in there. What you think, boys? Hmm? Just for you. It's all, I know you're hollering, but good golly. Come on now. All right, here we go. Let's uh, dump this in there. Let's see, I got a knife or I got a, let's see how we want to open this up. I don't want to spill it. Urgh. Cut it with my knife. Of course. You ever notice nothing opens up as easy as they ever say it is. So here, just pull here, tear here. Yeah, right. I got this on Amazon. I don't know. You probably could have bought it at the local feed store. I don't know, but just baking soda. Now, it'll be interesting to see if they find that. Again, that's uh, five pounds. I don't know how long it'll take them to go through it, but let's see if they come over here and check it out. I don't know. We'll see. You ever, uh, you ever done something and then with about three or four seconds realize that it was a bad idea? Well, that's the uh, bad idea with the baking soda. Putting it over here. Number one, they knock things down into it because she's up there right now and the goats get up and it'd be nasty. Number two, when I clean this off with my push broom, I would be pushing, pulling stuff right down in there. So I moved it over here in line with their feeders. Okay. Now, so far, nobody's partaken of it. But we will, we will kind of keep around it and watch and see what happens over the next few days. I'm hoping it doesn't get wet right here, too. That would be another problem. Or if somebody goes to the bathroom in it, you know, I mean, that's a possibility. We'll just kind of see how it goes. If it doesn't work there, I'll have to, I'll just have to move it somewhere else. But so anyway, it's there and we'll see if they use it. Be a good thing for them. Right, boys? Now, speaking of sweeping that off, I really should do that. But they're eating their hay, so we'll, uh, we might do that here in a little bit. But I'm going to go back now, and let's go ahead. It's a little early, but we're going to go ahead and we'll just start the feeding process. What I'll do, Smokey's actually up there. I've kind of kept her awake with the chores, and she's, kind of, she's up there actually sleeping. So I don't need to feed her right now. We'll go ahead and start with the pigs, and then we'll go ahead and do the goats, okay? Sometimes things do not work out as planned. I don't know how long it's going to take that wood to dry out to where I can burn it. Hopefully in the next couple of days, I don't know if we're supposed to get any moisture or not, but you know, as cold as it is, I'm afraid things won't, uh, things might not dry out like they should. All right. Oh, goodness. Hi, girls. Let me get your water in here. Hang on. Do it that way this afternoon. I know. What have you girls been up to today? You got mud all over your noses. Oh, goodness. Did you look at that nose? Look at them noses. Hey, you're all right. I'll give you a little more. In the afternoon, oh, in the afternoon all we get is grain. Somebody said your noses look like hearts. In fact, somebody said that you guys were an annoying. Are you annoying, huh, when you get up there like that? Are you annoying? Oh, goodness gracious, maybe you are. Maybe you're a little annoying, but we love you and stay anyway. We love you anyway. All right, coming over. Let's go. Watch out. Okay, come here. Come on, look out. Coming over. Let's get it started, get you calmed down. There's one. There's two. There's three. All right. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. While we're over here in the pasture and the piggy pigs are eating dinner, this is where I would plan on putting the little mini donkeys. I think it would be plenty big for a couple of little donkeys. This pin, the temporary pin, remember what I had the Cooney Coonies in and I told you I was gonna leave it? I would actually take this out now so they'd have plenty of room to run around. I'm pretty sure it'd be okay to put them in with pigs. I haven't heard anybody say, hey, don't put them in with pigs. Okay, 
I'm also thinking that maybe, and uh, I'm going to talk to Mr. Charlie, maybe I could take this fence here and extend it uh, this way a little bit, you know, go that way. I don't know, 30, 40 feet, maybe make that a little bit bigger. Give them a little more room. I mean, this may be enough right here, you know. I think it probably is. We'll see. Oh, and I could take this, take this here, take this out, run this right there, and that would open up this big rectangular area here for them. I just want to make sure they have plenty of area to run, and I believe that would be plenty, plenty, plenty with plans in the future to make it even bigger. Somebody said they need a nice little open space, not necessarily a, a nice soft pasture land, but a kind of a hard pack, which this here would be with the pigs on it and them on it. I think that would work, which means, you know, last video, I was kind of indicated that I may not be able to do the donkeys, but in a lot of the comments and people talking and, and so forth, uh, I'm now, I'm, I never did rule them out completely, I just wanted to make sure that it would work. I'm thinking right now, yeah, they'd be okay. Now, again, Leanne and I have to go check out a place that has them, see what availability is. We we're thinking about two geldings. Well, I don't really want to breed animals of anything we have. You know, I, I don't want that. I don't want to do that, you know. Um, chickens, <laughs> you know, maybe to incubate some eggs, but I really don't want to get into the, okay, you know, get her, I just, it's, I'm too, no, nah, I'm not interested in that at this stage, you know. I just want to raise the animals, enjoy them for as long as we can. And, uh, you know, that'll be, that'll be it right there. Right, guys? Right? Yeah. Now, I've been out in this cold now for <laughs> actually, <laughs> what, three hours now? It's not so bad. I'm kind of getting used to it. I'll get you some in a minute, Sassy. Hang on. Now, I hope they work around this uh, baking soda here. That would be really interesting to see if they actually take any of that in. I got you. Hang on, Fox. Come here, buddy. All right, there we go. Very interesting. Another thing, too, with the donkeys, you know, most people caution against putting them in with anything, even goats. You know, there's some, some of you had some horror stories to tell. You know, the, i tell you one thing, though, everybody pointed out, and I had kind of forgotten. You know, Smokey was was in with go or in with donkeys at Chad's. I don't think there were any issues there, you know, but I can tell you right now I'm not uh, I'm not going to take what Leanne and I decide we're not going to take that chance. So the donkeys will not be in with her. Hey guys, here. Hey Mags, you want to you want some feed, buddy? There you go, get some feed. Somebody said too that they don't even give their uh, donkeys any uh, any grain. They give them barley, barley wheat, barley grass, barley, the barley, yes. And then just regular hay. That'd be fine, pretty easy. They said everybody agrees that they're pretty easy, uh, easy maintenance. Here you guys, here, you want some of that? Here, Sassy, the heat's are down there. I'll throw that to you. Here you go. Okay, there we go. Here you go, Mags, Gray. I don't know why they're already up there on their, on their roost. Mags didn't really visit with the girls today at the other end. Not much. So, all right, are we good with the goats and the chickens down here and the piggies? We got to go up now. Now, Smokey, it'll be interesting to see if she even eats anything, you know. And, of course, here comes Batman because he thinks, yeah, he's looking up there. He's going to go up now. See, he goes up to see if he can reach anything up overhead. But I throw it far enough back, they'll they'll get it. <laughs> get it from me. Silly goat i have a plan for these four this is a 10 by 10 these these two and these two i've got a plan for that that i'm probably going to instigate here as soon as the weather gets a little bit better and i'll tell you why we had something happen with one of the chickens so i have decided to make an infirmary so we'll check on her today and see how she's doing. And I hope I don't have to isolate her again. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Sweet little face. See, actually, I kept her up through her nap time. 
so she's zonked out. I'll come down. I don't know if she may not eat tonight. I don't know if she ate pretty good this morning. Before we go feed the chickens, we had a bit of an emergency uh, night before last with one of them. As you know, Hot Lips and a couple others have been wearing little saddle dresses because they're getting picked on. I went out to check on them. Hot Lips, her little saddle dress was up, bent up off of her back. And she had been picked on and was all red. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, I cannot leave, I, I can't, I cannot leave her in there. I mean, I just, I just couldn't do it. So much to her dismay, I got her out and I brought her into the garage and I, I built this uh, makeshift, can you all see that? A makeshift little pin there out of some welded wire and a, the little dog house is in there that we had on the front porch. I put a tarp over it and I thought, you know, they say if that doesn't work to put the blue coat and, and, and or whatever it is on there and the saddle dresses, you know, that you need to isolate them and get them away from general population. So I put her in there. So later on that evening, she spent the night. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try, try one more thing. Maybe the saddle dresses are the attraction. Okay, I put them on there for a good reason because they needed to be protected. But they've been on there now for like two months, maybe, or more. So I thought they've got to be maybe irritating and maybe they don't need them now. So, but with hot lips, I took the dress off because I thought, I, you know, I, I was going to leave her in isolation and let her heal. Then I said, well, I'm going to take her back out the next morning. So I took some blue coat and I sprayed her down good with it and on her back, just soaked it because I read up on it and said you could do that. The reason the blue coat, which actually is purple, by the way, and I'll show you, you'll see. The blue coat is actually is, is to change, uh, cover up the red. Chickens will pick on anything or peck at what's red. Their colors are different than what we see and red stands out and they don't, I don't know if they don't like it or whatever, they'll pick on any chicken that's got red. So if they're hurt or bleeding or whatever, they'll get pecked on. So I put blue coat all over and we're going to go in now. Let's take a look and see how she's doing. I just thought maybe that was best. You know, I didn't want her to just go away and then put her back in. Then they really get upset with her and think that, you know, hey, she's a stranger and pick on her. So you know, it's one of those judgment calls. It's kind of tough. Okay, coming in, girls. Come on, let's go in. Come on in here. How is everybody? Everybody doing good today? Speaking of which, there's hot lips right there. Now see her back? Back there in the back, it's still very... Oh, let me hold still and zoom in. See that? Now that's, she just does not have any feathers growing right there. And that's got, I got blue coat all over that. Doesn't look any more red, like anybody's tried to pick that off or scratch her. You know, so that's what I've done for her. And I hope that works. And something else, I went ahead and took off the other saddle dresses off the other two birds. You cannot even tell I don't even know who's who now. I'll have to reel her. Ellie May. And I think it was, I think this is, might have been one of them. That might have been Ellie. That's Ellie May right there. I took hers off because she's a little skinnier, a little taller. And she is pretty much like 99% healed up now. She looks pretty good. The other one, let's see. Oops, I can't even tell now who is who. Can't even tell who is who because they, their, their backs just healed up completely. So I was very, so the, the saddle dresses worked on two out of three and hot lips. We're just going to see if she, you know, I will continue to, as if that fades tomorrow, I'll continue to put that stuff on her. There she is right there. So anyway, I was pretty, you know, I put her back in here so that she wouldn't feel isolated and maybe they would even pick on her more. So I hope that's a good idea. Hope that works. Girls, here's your scratch. And some sunflower seeds. Anybody want some wormies? Huh? Do we want some wormies today? What's happening? Huh? Nobody's wanting to come out and play. 
I think what is, is it gets cold. And I think I've showed you earlier, they like to get back underneath that uh, thing where, uh, that I built back there when it's cold, and that's where they hang out. Well, I know, we're gonna get some wormies. We're gonna get some wormies. Come on out, girls. Now, come on, it's time for dinner. Let's do the wormy dance. One, two. Come on, sis. Come here, girl. Come here. Oh, almost. I could have had her. I could have had her. That's all right. Come here, girls. All right, well, just make room for me on the dance floor then. All right, ready? One, a two, a one, two, three, go. Dun, da, dun, dun. Yay! Good job, girls. Come here. Here we go. Here we go. I got you. Here we go. I got you. Oh boy. Here, Nelly. Come here, honey. There we go. Nelly, see her? She's peeking around the corner over there. She'll come out in a minute. Come on. Here we go, girls. Here we go. I'm hoping, hoping and hoping that nobody else gets picked on. Huh? Can we just be nice to one another? Can't we all get along? Hmm? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. They are eating out of this feeder. That's working out real well. They still eat out of the bowl, but that's okay too. No magneto today. Magneto did not come in. I don't know why. Oh, get you a little more food in here. A little more in there. We don't need any in that bowl. Let's not put any in the, in the trough, okay? We don't need it. Yesterday, the girls surprised me with seven eggs, and I didn't even have my egg print on. Now, seven eggs is huge compared to what they've been laying. So maybe things are starting to pick up a little bit. They're all feeling pretty good. Right, kids? Huh, everybody feeling good? Now, now see, picking on the red. Now that, Goldie, golly, don't do that. That's that red bird picking on them red ones. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's go in here now and see if we've got any uh, eggs today. If we do, how many? There's no way there's gonna be seven, okay. Well, we got one in the top bunk, two in the middle bunk here, and that's it. So we just got three. All right, we'll take three. That's all right. Some of you took the day off. You know, if you hit it, if you get it every other day, Grandpa will be happy. So if the blue coat works, or purple, it doesn't look blue to me, I'll leave her out here. I'm hoping it does. If blue coat does what it's supposed to do, it's medicated, and it also will keep her from getting picked on because it's not showing red. That's her right there. That's the other birds, so we're going to find out how effective it is. What are you girls doing over there? Huh? But they're all out here right now digging around for worms. It's kind of damp. I love seeing that out here. You consider my chickens free range if they just get out that far? Is that free range? Or is that free range with a uh, clause in it? Free range, but I don't know. My farm? Michael? No, this is Smokey's time to eat. She woke up from her nap. Let's feed her. Let her eat. Okay, big man. You want your animal crackers? That here, come here. Hey, look here. Uh uh. Come here, you want your animal crackers? You look look at me. Pay attention. There's one. There's one. Come here, boys. Come here, fellas. Come here. Hey, P dub. You want your crackers? All right, there's one for you. Hang on, here, hold on, take turns. Here, hang on a minute. No, uh-uh, here, uh-uh. Here, Fox. Batman, you're being a pig. There you go, P-Dub. I got you. Like, hang on, hang on, hang on. One more, that's it. I think we're good, that's all I had. That's it, that's it, boys, no more. Now I'm gonna go over here and babysit Smokey. Yeah, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. You're going to be, I'm going to take, hey, that's my feet. Look at that. I'm going to take you to the vet just to give you some kind of medication. You know what, for orneriness. Do they have an ornery pill? Do they have ornery pills? Do they? Huh? They have a pills in case your goat just gets so ornery you can't hardly stand it anymore. Is that one? Is that for you? Yeah. Might have to have one for you. 
Yeah, why don't you get up there and play with your brothers? Your brothers are having fun. Hey, that's my finger. What's happening? The boy's getting carried away. Hmm? Everybody be good. Be good, boys. Be good. Still eating. Yep, I'll stand guard as long as it takes till she eats. Sorry, buddy. Sorry about it. Look at that pushing against me. Look at that. What are you doing? Pushing on me. What are you doing? Pushing on me. You pushing on me. Huh? Is that what we're doing? Push. Push. <laughs> you love it. You love it, you ornery little tinker. You love it. You know what? Now you're getting all the loving and the other two are standing there. Now look, here comes P-Dub. See what happens? We get jealous. We get jealous. We all got to have some loving. All right, let's do it. Come on. Here we go. Don't you get in there. All right, everybody get. Okay, gather around. Gather around. I only got two hands, so I have to kind of just keep moving. One and the other. One and the other. That's right. Get in here, P-Dub. Where are you going? Don't quit moving away. Mr. Fox, Batman, you just constantly needs attention and attention. It's just never enough. You guys remember when these three would go actually hide in the woods from me? They'd go hide in the woods. No, big man, I'm watching you. I know what you're thinking. They'd go hide in the woods from me when we first got them. Wouldn't come near me at all, would you? I know it. Now look at you. It's a cracker, it's Grandpa. No, you love Grandpa, and he loves you, that's why. That's right. Hey folks, next day, uh, got something I need to tell you. Hot Lips, showed you all that footage about Hot Lips. And, you know, I considered that an emergency. Took her in, put the, put the blue coat on her, isolated her, put her back over here. The video showed she was perfectly fine. And I came out this morning, folks, I kid you not, and uh, she had died. Yep, I found her. I found her in here. Actually, bless her heart, she apparently got up here and she had her little foot hung up right here. Now this, this is a board that I put in here to keep the chicken poo uh, from between these studs hard to clean out. This is loose right here because there's no place to nail it. And I didn't put a nailer back here, never thought I'd have to, but her little foot was hung up in there. Now, I don't know how in the world that would happen. I don't know. I never thought about that in a in hundred years. And of course, the first thing I thought was, you know, it's my fault. What in the world? It's my fault for not fixing that. And I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, it's gonna be one of those just unsolved mysteries. I, I, I hate it. I just made me sick. I don't like losing any animal. And I don't care if it's a chicken or a dog or a goat, I'll get over it. A lot of you've had animals all your lives. You've lost animals, animals you loved, animals you, I, I, I know all that. I, you're preaching to the choir, okay? You know, I'm 64 years old, I get it. I've lost animals too. But uh, you know, this losing like that is it's difficult for me when you, you nurse it, you know, you think you got you know, got it back where it needs to be, and then, and then she died, and you know, she's gone. She's gone. I, I, yeah, it's, 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 that's, that's, that's difficult on me, and I'm sure it's difficult on a lot of you, so I want to let you know that, but I, I had Grandma leave it all in the original video, and so uh, I wanted to throw, put this in on there as an ending to that. Just, I don't know, folks, but anyhow, we're gonna move on, you know, everybody else seems to be fine. Uh, so the, the no, the, I don't think anything got in here. All the other birds were, were, were good. We'll, life goes on, doesn't it? We'll move on. I got, oh, these two here, Goldie and Blondie. That a boy, that a girl. I already got three eggs out of there this morning. Uh, it's just about noon right now, so yeah. So we're, uh, they're working on some more uh, eggs. Good girls. I don't wanna end this video on a, on a sad note, all right? So. I think I know how to make it a little happier, for sure. I think you'll enjoy this, so stick around. It is, an what? eagle with shark arms, right? Yeah, yeah, but, but, but look at the shark arms. I saw that. Shark has arms? This shark does. Wow, what are you eating? What? What is that? 
<laughs> Is that peanut butter and jelly? That's one of your favorites, isn't it? Grandpa likes peanut butter and jelly. A lot. You no, know, shell and cheese and mini corn dogs are my favorite. Oh, macaroni and cheese and mini corn dogs are his favorite. That's right. That's his new favorite. That's what we had for lunch, right? Mac macaroni and cheese, mini uh -huh. corn dogs with ketchup. Sounds good. Well, I told everybody we're going to end this video on a good note. So I think this is a pretty good note right here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Can you tell everybody thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. Oh, man. Well, thank you for coming out and hanging out with me and Grandma today, okay? We love you. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, buddy. Love you. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. God bless you. Until next time. Bye. 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 Until next time. Don't be weird. Go back to daddy's. <laughs> deuces. Uh oh. I take deuces back.